The bridge of the USS New York. Her keel was laid in September 04, but her legacy began on 9-11. Built in Louisiana with a home port in Norfolk, she'll carry New York with her to whichever far corner of the earth she sails. This is the bow of the ship built from seven and a half tons of World Trade Center steel. And it's here the ship's motto, strength through sacrifice, never forget, has meaning. The New York's mission, simply put, is to carry Marines and sailors to wherever in the world they're needed. Helicopters and vertical takeoff planes like the Osprey use her deck as a launching and landing pad. Inside, she carries up to 700 troops. In the distance, the city skyline. Many sailors and Marines on board are from our area and have very personal memories of 9-11. For them, tomorrow's ceremony is a very special homecoming. Lance Corporal Joseph Anderson from Levittown was working as a carpenter downtown that day. Uh, me and a bunch of the other union workers responded down to the, the scene of the World Trade Center and helped out in the rescue efforts, down the rescue and recovery efforts down at the Ground Zero. Lance Corporal Nelson Acevedo from Miller Place thinks his new ship sends a message. You know, this ship represents those who have died and those who survived in it and we're paying homage to them. We're pretty much showing our uh, enemies and everybody out there that you know, you can do whatever you want to us and we're going to sit here and smile at you. And no matter what you do, we're always going to be here standing and defending our nation. For many of the young men and women, this is their first trip home in months, even years, and they can't wait for the welcome. It's just going to be a rush. <clears throat> when, you, uh, when you step off the boat, you know, we're here for the maiden voyage, we're here for the commissioning, but uh, to have everyone on board and the ceremony take place and just walking around in uniform, it's a feeling that I can't even describe. A hero's welcome well deserved. Aboard the USS New York, Rob Morrison, CBS2 News.